Dude, it is hard to see out here. Good God, man. And that doesn't help. Hey, Hot Chili. Hey, Boatman. Good to see you guys. Alright, things are looking pretty good. Can't go in there. Um, 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 um. I guess this isn't where we're supposed to go right now. Let's keep looking around. He's playing alone and losing. That is what the game is. There's a mathematical proof. If you add one, two, three, four, and five and solve it on up to infinity, you can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at one slash twelve dot negative point oh eight three 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 repeating. I'm losing my grip on things. I'm thinking about the drive here, 400 miles in a rented truck, the job that shows up just in time to cover the bills, our debts, the insurance, the boys sleeping in the back, nothing but AM radio, gospel, country western, late night paranoia talk radio, we sang Patsy Cline songs and laughed at conspiracies of aliens and ghosts, mile marker number passing in headlights, I don't want to die here. Oh, this is open. This was closed before. Hmm. What's up, Gazul Kalat? How are you, buddy? The big blast with the four months. Thank you, man. Okay, we can go out that way. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. Alright, looks like we're going here. QC Finest, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Hmm. 
Ah! Hi. <laughs> that was great. Annie Erie, how you doing this morning? Great to see you. Let's go ahead and reload that. Uh, Demnix TV, a lot of people feel that way. I hear that all the time. I pretty much hear that at least once every time I play a scary game. I'm really glad you're playing this, Co, because I don't like playing these games. They they make me too anxious, or I don't like playing scary games, but I like watching them. Like, I, I totally feel you, man. You're not alone. There's a lot of people that feel that way. I personally have always enjoyed scary games, so I... I I love them. I don't know why. I, I could play as many of these as there are. I've always just been a fan of them. He looks nervous. Oh god, no! Not these dudes! Dongle dongle. Hi! It's our Outlast 1 buddies. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna close this. Uh, Triz. Oh, he got timed out because he dropped an F bomb. Yeah, we have we have a bot that does that automatically. Yeah. No worries. It's just a purge. It wasn't it wasn't even a timeout. Hey, Zatorion! Thank you for the sub, dude, and welcome to our community. Really appreciate your support, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go over this table. Um, hi. Oh, why do you have poop on your arms? Ew. Oh. Um, well then. Um, okay. All right. Don't get too close to those guys. Yeah. He looks. Yeah, don't. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead. Just sashay my way into here. Oh my god. Um, whoa. All right. Super nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, two people from Murkoff. Patient Samuel. Kurt, we've got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. 
Security guard all the way up in admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernicke's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would seem an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing of a contracted security guard. And seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble upon such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case or the others before him. It's one thing for formally sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Billings. Hmm. Um. Where the hell was that guy going? I can go up more. I guess we have to. Hmm. Bin to ISO Uber Trooper Pesky Pixel Pixies and Veveran with the 28 months. Thank you so much, guys. Really do appreciate it. Don't trust them. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. Hey, grats to Kim in 91. Awesome, awesome. Appreciate it. And also, smile, Hyena Don. Thank you for the new sub as well. Really do appreciate it. Uh, wait. So, Kimmin is actually one of our mods, but he's a dual sub, so he gets automatically entered into uh, community giveaways. Um, but Kimmin apparently wants to re roll the $50 anything on Steam giveaway. Thanks, man. Very cool, you buddy. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so we'll re-roll that in just a little bit. GG Kimin91. Finally. Um, let's do it. Oh, this dude again. Oh my God. Quail and Park. You couldn't just, couldn't just keep your mouth shut. Couldn't just play along. Fuck. But you're done talking now. Do me a favor and die here, Park. So about that radio. Hello, bro. Thunder, uh, thunder call. Jammin' forever. Killer ghost and smile. Hyena Don. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Really appreciate it, dudes. Why call nine one one? The plan was to get the cops here. So they
Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum, writing instructions on the wall, talking about God, tells me not to be afraid. How was I ever part of this inhumane bullshit, greed-driven morale genocide? The monster Murkoff ripped from tortured minds. The lengths their jackbooted business schoolworms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but if some small-minded interventionalist god is listening, kill Jeremy Blair before I die. Sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There is no radio. No hope of reaching the outside world. Only escape. And I just realized that's the priest from Outlast 1 writing the instructions that we see in Outlast 1. That's awesome. That's really cool. Another poor soul. Don't be afraid, you're doing his work, whether you know it or not. You creepy ass motherfucker. Their mouth washed out. Oh god, one of them's coming! It's not even human anymore! <laughs> Lock it! Shut it in! Wait, what me? No, I'm fine. What are you talking about? Why did he look at me and say he's not even human anymore? We gotta find us a mirror or something. What did they do to us? I guess we did see a little bit of the machine, but I didn't think it was enough to, like, mess us up or anything. Can we go in here? Nope. Oh, shit. I don't know what that is, but I want nothing to do with it. I mean, I guess I'll open this, but this doesn't seem like the best idea. Rick, fun hitting the greens last week. We should make the drive more often. Was reviewing some old test records from the early days of Project Wall Rider and, and something sparked my interest. Were you following the project back in 2010? Apparently we had issues with female employees experiencing psychosomatic pregnancies. Something to do with how the morphogenic engine interacts with the immune system? All Greek to me, am I right? It was more often fatal than not, and these were employees and not patients, so a little harder to sweep under the rug. But, the morphogenic activity in these ladies' marrow was off the charts, and these are women who were never exposed to additional hormone therapy. Now, I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth, but I can read a spreadsheet, and if projected profits from Project Wall Rider are half what they say they are, I've got one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an equal opportunity affliction. Seems unethical to pass up on such a potential windfall. Oh God. Okay. Hmm. 
Dr. Beardicus, Jesse Asa Uta Hedekeshi with the 27 months, and Thrakath. Uh, Thra uh, thank you for these six months. Really appreciate it, guys. Okay, we can go in there. All right, let's do it. Who was making all that jibba jabber? Somebody was jibba jabber about needing help. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna assume the giant electric flashy thing is means bad. Let's go ahead and stay with that. Can't go in there. Uh, there may have been a battery there in a little lower difficulty. Great White Northian. Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds a little familiar, but I haven't looked into it too much. Why don't I wear a headset? Because I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. I prefer not wearing headsets. Perfect timing. Everybody's got something. I guess his is people soup. You enjoy yourself, bud. I won't judge you. Everybody's got their quirks. <laughs> Wait. Did someone turn it back on? Isn't that what I just turned off? Maybe not. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, at least we got to see that beautiful face is the last thing in life. Nebraska, Orgo Nerd, Mythic Striker, and Get Pin Good. Thank you for the new subs, guys. Welcome, welcome to you. Oh, oh, come on! Go, go, go.
dude, 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 dude. My lord. Let's just go ahead and. Onward and up. Oh, hell no! Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. Nope, nope. Um, the, um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, no, no. Um, that is a negatory ghost rider. That pattern is full. Can I go up here, please? I don't know. All right, we're gonna have to do this for science, but. Okay, not gonna lie, that was better. That was a lot better than expected. I that is okay. All right. <laughs> Oh, hmm. I got a thing with I got a thing with water you can't see into, man. I I got a thing about that. I've always been worried about water that you can't see into, always. Like it's enough of an issue that I have an issue in the ocean, kind of thing. Hey, critical error. How you doing today, bud? It would be so easy. I don't believe in it anymore. Getting the truth out. There's no truth, only lies we've accepted too long to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way out if it wasn't for the boys. Damn this place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. <laughs> Shannon, love it. <laughs> I ain't getting eaten by no shark. <laughs> It could be the rare Tasmanian toe biter shark. In one foot of water, it bites your foot and then that trips you. And then when you fall into the one foot of water, it just eats your face. You gotta watch out for them Tasmanian toe biters. I want nothing to do with them. Mm mm. Haka G, no. No, you don't. Fogger S says, Co, I don't think those Tasmanian toe biters are real. You got me. But still, there's all sorts of scary stuff. <laughs> I 